very heartily good evening to all our listeners it's a matter of pride for us to have dr sanjay singh with us we welcome you sir nss iit rookie is a student organization of over thousands active and dedicated member driven by a strong urge to help the needy and abiding by the motto not for me but for the nation <clears throat> to work exclusively on building sustainable practices and awareness we introduce a new vertical namely sustainability which focuses on undertaking initiative addressing the united nations sustainable development goals sdgs for 2030 climate and environmental awareness cell works towards spreading awareness for the urgency to address the problem of climate change and its impact on environment since un sdg goal 13 is climate action most of our activities are aligned to it today we are here for a conversation with dr sanjay singh who is the director of forest research center for eco rehabilitation farcer prayagraj it was established in 1992 as an advanced center under the umbrella of icfer dehradun the center aims to nurture and cultivate professional excellence in the field of social forestry and eco rehabilitation in eastern uttar pradesh north bihar and vidyan region of uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh his contribution experiences and expertise will be an enlightening source for us this evening we along with dr singh are going to have a conversation around how farcer is serving a meaningful impact in the field of sustainable development now i will be handing over the proceedings to sarthak so uh, good uh, good afternoon good evening sir we have okay. some questions lined up for you okay so fine. so yeah the first one here it goes uh, what has been the driving factor for you towards choosing the forest as your field of work uh, in fact sarthak uh, my area of special specialization in the msc was botany and in botany also okay. uh, i was working in forest ecology and where the plants and all dimensions and plants can be uh, seen in totality is the forest in the forest is a place when all plant formations and their functionalities can be seen in the wholeness so that's why my uh, fascination with plants ended in fascination with the forest I, in, i i went to the forest services and the uh, forest research and uh, i devoted uh, life uh, around 25 years or more in forestry research and that has been a great driving factor for that and apart from that also uh, in the beginning um, i spent my life uh, in the hills of uttar pradesh rather now it is uttarakhand so in that region i was uh, uh, having my schooling and the education so i was very close to nature and the fo- the forest uh, and trees so that's why uh, it, it was in fact a boon for me i got an opportunity to work in the forestry sector so that where i can be uh, in the company of plants and the plants are present in the forest in the most uh, and uh, one more thing i wish to enlighten the um, the gathering here the, those who are listen, listening or Uh, visualizing this program that i i was uh, having interest in literature also and i uh, i was very uh, keen to write on the environmental issues and the uh, uh, the poems and the other uh, things related to the environment that's why uh, it has been a, in, in fact a very good opportunity in life which i have got in the forestry sector okay indeed sir uh having spent so much uh, time in the forest sector uh, what has been uh, the observed trends over the years uh, in uh, in your work uh, jurisdiction and profile yeah um, uh, in the beginning the uh, study of forest was mainly concerned with the uh, uh, noting down the which species is present in the forest and how we can attain maximum benefit by growing those species a uh, maximum benefit getting timber out of the forest the so initial the all forestry was uh, uh, revolving around this factor but after the lately 
uh, after 1980s or so the focus shifted towards the conservation aspect of the forest when people re started realizing that value of forest for climate uh, 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 change scenario and uh, having the betterment of the society and the detrimental effect that can be there if forests are lost so uh, in, uh, late in uh, started with 1980s that people uh, are working in the forestry sector started uh, working for the conservation of the forest and then the documentation of biodiversity and the um, the uses of different species and plants from the forest becomes in of immense importance not you are the from the iit and you may be aware that intellectual property right is a great issue for any country and in forestry sector also there are a n number of species which can be we should have been documented pr uh, uh, pr properly in the earlier time also so uh, the researchers and the foresters devoted their energy towards documentation of the um, the different species which are present in the forest how to manage them how to sustainably utilize them with, uh, without uh, uh, having a, an adverse effect on the forest population itself so this is the major shift which has occurred during the last 20 or um, uh, 25 years and now the whole forestry whether we are forest managers or forestry researchers we are concerned with the betterment and stability and sustainability of the forest as a great uh, ecosystem which is our only shield in this uh, era of uh, climate change okay sir uh, how do you think forests play a vital role in countries as mm. one of the tools to fight against climate crisis do you think forest welfare is a less highlighted issue in comparison to others yeah i agree with the very nice question you have framed and you people have an insight on the climate and forestry issue and the environment has all also always been in, in receiving end environment has never been a priority for a, any uh, developing country or even developed world so environment is not a priority then uh, the major chunk of environment is governed by the forest ecosystems then how the forest will is going to be a priority by the forestry managers or the uh, rather politicians and the uh, policy managers so that is there that uh, it the issue has not been properly highlighted throughout but uh, the focus is now on the young people and the younger younger generation like you they are um, visualizing the immense benefit the forest uh, their maintenance and their restoration can play for our future development and sustainability on this planet that's why they have a immense role in the development and shaping of country's future and all the countries which are having good proportion of biodiversity are richer in contrast to other countries likewise i always mention always stress that india china and uh, south east asia asian countries which are having the immense biodiversity and great variety of forest ecosystems they are richer in fact in future if we manage them properly that will be a great boon for uh, our economy so but they play in fact the vital role in all the countries and now the um, uh, the uh, thinking is coming that if you are disturbing the forest if you are disturbing the climate and you have you can have this amelioration process all over the country all over the world if, if you are disturbing in us you can be compensated in malaysia thailand or uh, other countries also the it is a whole common world there uh, one one at one place if some uh, if uh, something happened uh, which is not good for the forest which is not good for the environment that can be compensated by the people in other country and i must say the developing countries the countries like uh, india pakistan bangladesh and uh, of southeast asian and uh, third world countries they are contributing more for the forest establishment now they are planting like anything like the state of uttar pradesh uh, in india uh, he, uh, it it has planted uh, 50 crore uh, trees every year uh, in last four, uh, last through 50. that is another question that survival and uh, 
their proper care is also important but the uh, the will of the uh, policy maker the will of the um, people young people the pe will of the tree grower is there to always have good forest that can have a good tree cover uh, which will be very beneficial for uh, having the economic gain as, as well as maintenance of the environment yes sir uh, sir you rightly mentioned about uh, something about youth and how a uh, bigger role it plays in com uh, com uh, how bigger role it plays for the coming generation mm -hmm. uh, as we all know the contribution of youth in countering social challenges cannot be undermined uh, mm -hmm. despite awareness programs and incentives the participation of youth uh, in the field of forest welfare has been limited how do you think we can attract them to contribute in this area more uh, in, in fact the problem of the youth is the pressure uh, which the parents and other society uh, poses on them in the beginning of their uh, developing years we have given so much pressure on them they, they are not uh, able to have uh, inculcate uh, certain good things apart from their studies they are doing very less work in the extracurricular activities and they are um, not able to uh, think uh, in those lines and that is very important that getting a job uh, is a priority in the country uh, where uh, everybody is concerned about having a good social position uh, by studying and uh, any other thing but uh, we have a culture we have a tradition that always in houses in homes and the elders have taught the younger generations to have environmental awareness and that should be done by the teachers also even if somebody is teaching mathematics and physics in the classroom he should also have certain examples which pertains to the environmental awareness which pertains to the maintenance of good hygiene and health and the maintenance of ecosystems so uh, it should be holistic it should the our education system needs to be changed a bit some marks or some extra credits if they are given to the students of engineering or medical or the sciences or, or and arts and others for environmental things maybe uh, not like nss is one thing uh, where uh, certain, these things have been taken into care into and the cleanliness drive is uh, um, has been taken by nss volunteers all over the country so likewise uh, the people who go for nss activities are better shaping their um, career also they are having a broader um, outlook for environment and society and that should be somehow uh, taken into the our uh, in university system or school at uh, education education system especially the professional bodies like you yes sir so talking about uh, change in the coming years how yes. how have you uh, how have you uh, like evaluated the past decade uh, how i mean how the past decade has been for the forest welfare uh, how like what are the efforts being made uh, by your organization towards forest welfare yeah in fact um, the responsibility of research institution like us has become great in last few years that country thinks to have economical development and country has to face the challenge of uh, the environment changes the climate change which which is there and the only thing uh, the agricultural land is limited if the agricultural land is limited their cropping pattern and their utilization has remains to the uh, has attained to the optimum level 